ruby crown kinglets are very small birds we find out in the forest now in the fall. Uh, they're bigger than a hummingbird, but smaller than a chickadee. The coloration on the ruby crown kinglet is kind of a dull olive green, uh, but it does have those uh, neat uh, orange feet. Uh, these little guys are very quick when you see them out in the woods as they flit around looking for aphids or ants up in the tree branches. Uh, they like to eat those little bugs like that. After nesting in the boreal forest up in Canada, they're migrating through Iowa now on their way to warmer climates down south. Uh, and uh, sometimes they may stop in southern Missouri or continue right on down to the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, watch for the ruby crowned kinglets to be really busy in the woods now for the next week or so. This blue-headed vireo is not much bigger than a ruby crowned kinglet, but uh, certainly much more colorful. Uh, notice the kind of uh, what I'd call white uh, spectacles or it looks like a pair of white glasses that it's wearing on its head there, because the ruby crowned kinglet also has a white ring around its eye, but it doesn't have that uh, stripe that runs right out to touch the bill. Of course, the blue-headed vireo has a, a blue-gray head, and then those uh, kind of uh, lemon-yellow flanks and some, some other kind of uh, bright greenish-yellow colors on its wings there. Uh, notice, too, the hooked bill on the uh, on the blue-headed vireo, that's how we can tell it from a, a warbler. They typically just, well, they just have uh, bills that end in a kind of a needle-like tip. Uh, blue-headed vireos uh, can uh, nest anywhere from uh, Minnesota, southern Canada, uh, and uh, they're going to end up uh, along the Gulf Coast for the winter season. White-tailed deer have lost their uh, kind of reddish summer coats, and now they're sporting uh, dark gray uh, fur for the winter season. Uh, they're also uh, fattening up for the winter, and uh, acorns are one of their favorite natural foods, uh, but uh, since uh, modern agriculture, or since uh, the pioneers brought crops to Iowa, uh, they've learned to uh, like uh, things like corn and soybeans. And uh, the soybeans here uh, will certainly help this doe as uh, she builds up a layer of fat for the winter season. Uh, some hunting seasons for white-tailed deer are open in Iowa. So if uh, you're out in the woods, uh, you might want to be uh, aware of that and uh, take uh, the proper precautions. Uh, anyway, uh, be looking for the white-tailed deer and the bucks will be starting to get active as we move into the latter part of October now.